What is up YouTube? Welcome back to day two with the new Procreate 5X closed beta update. If you missed yesterday's video all about the reference and face painting features, check that out. I'll link it in the card up top. But today's video is all about the new palette capture and swatch drop features. So let's get into it. So like I said, today's video is all about the palette capture and swatch drop. Let's talk about the swatch drop first. And to do that, I'm on 5X right now. Let's hop back to the current version of Procreate. And let's say that you wanted to drop in some colors. Of course, you could not do it from the color palettes. Selecting the swatch here and dragging it over just causes it to bounce back to the color palette. You'd have to actually select the color to change it up here and then drag and drop it in like this. So that's all changed with the new 5X update. So let's hop back now. And you're gonna see a lot of the new features in the update are stuff that you could technically do with the current and previous versions of Procreate. They've just streamlined the process, kind of made it easier to free up time in your workflow. And I like that. So let's see what it does. Pulling up the color swatch here, and we're gonna go to this palette and just grab a color and drag and drop, and you're gonna see it just drags and drops it in perfectly like so, if I can get my finger to work right, there we go. So, a lot easier, like I said. You could do this technically before just by switching back and forth, but it just removes a couple steps, so I like that they're thinking about the workflow, and it's a good sign. So next up, let's talk about palette capture. This is really cool. Once again, let's kick back to the current version of Procreate. And if we go up to our colors here and hit the plus button here for our palettes, it just basically adds in a new blank palette. Now, with the changes in 5X, if we do the same thing going up to our colors and hitting the plus button, it actually brings up a menu now. So you've got four different options. You've got create new palette, new from camera, new from file, and new from photos. So if we click create new palette, that's basically the same thing as hitting just the plus button in the current version of Procreate. So the next one we're gonna talk about is import from camera, the second option down. And to show this, I'm gonna bring in just kind of this colorful coaster I've got here to the side. And I'm gonna pull up my iPad here throwing this underneath so the camera can get it. And there you see what this does. You can actually capture a palette directly from something that your camera sees. And just by hitting the button here to take the picture, it's gonna add it in to your color palettes. Now let's go back to that one more time because there are two different options on here. So let's go new from camera. It's set up right now on visual. So it pretty much locks it in right where your camera zeroed in on. If you switch this to index, it kind of has a more searching feel to it. And with index, you're only getting 256 available colors. So you're gonna miss out on some of those subtle value changes like you get with visual. So taking that picture, you can lock it in. You're gonna see the difference between those two color palettes. So a very cool idea. You can capture stuff as you're drawing in real life from references. If you're drawing nature or any scenery type photos, I think this would be super cool to use and take it while you're on a hike, maybe out in the forest and just drawing. Next up, we've got the ability to make a color palette new from file. So hitting this is gonna bring up the files app and you can see you can now import Adobe ASE and ACO files, which is super cool. I love the fact that Savage supports Photoshop formats. So to begin with, of course, we had the ability to import export files as PSDs. Then they added the ability to bring in Photoshop brushes and now we've got the ability to use ASE and ACO color palettes. Super, super cool, so let's hit that one. We'll bring that one in and then we'll bring in the ASE one. Once again, new from file and the ASE and you'll see super easy, super quick, just like you would load in any other color palette. Works flawlessly and I love it. And then last but not least, the ability to import new from photos. Now I tried this one out a little bit ago and keep in mind this is a beta. This one pulling up loads in fine. This is a uh, thumbnail that I had for YouTube. Let's pull this up so you can see what it is. Uh, thumbnail for YouTube pulls it up fine. But the other picture that I showed you guys yesterday of my cat in the house, when I go to import that one, let's see, new from photos, 
All it does is just brings up black. That's it. It doesn't recognize anything else. So I'm not sure why, like I said, this is just a beta. So I know they're still working some of the kinks out, but super cool way to bring in a color palette from a photo really, really quick. Just pulling up that camera roll. So that's it. Everything about the new palette capture and swatch drop feature coming soon in Procreate 5X. Like I said, I'm doing a new video every day for the next seven days, highlighting a new feature in Procreate 5X. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications so you can get alerts when I post those videos. As for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.